My vision for nursing in Bradford District Care Foundation Trust in the next three years is to um, continue to what we continue to have what we have now, which is really fantastic, experienced nurses. Many of our nurses are national award winners. I want them be, to be able to share that widely across our organisation so that nationally our nurses' names are known because of their exceptional practice. I really want them to learn from mistakes and take that as part of everyday working behaviour and question is what they're doing the right thing. I really want them to focus very much on how can we work with families as opposed to individuals so it's much more joined up and connected and I want them to be using the most up-to-date um, technology to help them to um, deliver the most modern healthcare possible across the district. The three key priorities for nursing in Bradford District Care Foundation Trust would have to start this year with revalidation. Um, from April, every nurse um, has to revalidate with the Nursing Midwifery Council. And that revalidation process is about making sure that we've got um, a reflective workforce, um, one that delivers really effective, efficient and skilled care, one that takes time to reflect on the practice and learn from any mistakes. For us, that's a huge piece of work because we have um, over a thousand nurses to um, revalidate. And many of those will start to revalidate from um, April this year. So that would be the first one. Um, the second key priority um, for, for us will be around um, how nurses work with families across the district. We really want to move away from nurses working with individual members of families to seeing people as part of a family and how that family can actually play a big part in an in, in individual's um, recovery. So for example, um, in Bradford, many of our family members are also carers. Um, and it's really important that we work with those people that where appropriate we undertake assessments, care assessments, and where appropriate we put together plans that will help support that whole family. And the final and I guess really most important area for us to focus on is very much around um, prevention of ill health um, and self-care. And we've done a lot of work this year in developing um, self-care packages and working with individuals to help them take some responsibility in terms of preventing um, ill health. So whether that be working with um, young children um, in terms of how they um, maintain oral hygiene, particularly the health visitors are doing a lot of work around the oral hygiene programme, whether it's working with um, people in terms of managing their diets and exercise, or whether it's about helping people maintain um, a healthy uh, mental well-being. It's a real priority for us over the next 12 months. I'm really proud of, of everything that our nurse is doing in Bradford, but I think most of all how over the last five years or so they've really transformed themselves and the practice. Um, for example, we have many, many nurses now who are non-medical prescribers. That was you know, only a few years ago, not heard of. In fact, some of my colleagues in their organisation still don't have non-medical prescribers, so we're really lucky. Um, we've got a significant number of advanced practitioners working within, within our organisation, and they've really taken over quite um, a lot of work that was done before by medical staff. So now we've got medical staff doing the right things and we've got nurses taking much more of a, um, a leading role. I'm really proud of the nurses' leadership skills and abilities. I think they've really um, enabled our teams to flourish um, and develop. 
Um, and I'm really proud of lots of, of little things that our nurses have done that surprise me all the time. For example, the development of a children's um, passport, I just think was um, an amazing, incredible you know, idea. Um, that nurses involve service users on interview panels, it, it's just, for me, that's just um, brilliant. Um, lots of work in mental health to transform pathways that are just absolutely visionary um, and, and people come from all over the country to um, find out about the work that our nurses have, have done. Um, health visitors, they work in such difficult, complex areas, yet they've transformed the way that they work along a 0-19 pathway, which is just, um, just incredible. We also have lots of, um, of nurses who are national award winners. Um, they've completed things like the Mary Seacole, they've won Nursing Times Awards, um, they've won uh, Yorkshire and Humber Leadership Awards. Um, we've got, I think it's 11 health visiting fellows, more than anywhere else in the country. Um, I'm really proud of our nurses because nationally people know who Bradford nurses are.